All right, guys, it's finally here. So we've we've been waiting for the FEM release or a testnet version of the FEM and what to expect. So um, it's it's finally been released, and the good news is it's got some pretty cool branding behind it. I think, which is um, it's it's utilised Sonic the Hedgehog, which is obviously ultra fast. And I, I wonder if that um, has something to do with the. The new CMO that's been uh, that's come on board there with Phantom, so it's really good to to see that. Um, I think they've got a bit of a, a cool sort of area that they can can target there about using that supersonic and, and sonic that the hedgehog sort of memes there. So um, good news is, and, and and I'll just skip straight to what we all want to see, and that's the transactions per second, twenty one hundred there. So that's. It's pretty impressive as opposed to what we're used to there with 21 um, transactions there per second. So that's uh, some of the big stuff to note. There's obviously the, the database storage, things like that. So there is some big improvements here, but I want to more get in and show you what's going on, show you what's happening here on the closed um, tester here. So here they've got a, a Phantom Sonic closed version and my understanding is that it's it's just running repeatedly with what they think is a good mix of transactions that they've pretty much come accustomed to seeing on the on the FTM network, but they're utilizing that to then give it a good test and see how it goes. So, so there we are, we're running at 2043 transactions per second. Um, it's absolutely flying through. You can see how quickly we're going through the blocks here, but then have a look at the, the transactions that are getting listed in these blocks. So we've got you know 760, 798 transactions. Now we can click in, go in, and this is this explorer is new to me as well. So it's not your general explorer that you see. So it looks like there's been some upgrades and some changes made there, and um, it's pretty cool to sort of see how it's yeah. I, I suppose see how it's responding, see how these TXs are going through. Um, what types of transactions are going through. Then you can dig a little deeper, you can go in. But these are the transactions that are occurring that are, that are preset, so to test the network. And as we can see, it's it's absolutely flying. Like the blocks are going through, uh, you know, everything's working exactly as, as we would anticipate. Average, you know, block time of 0.42 of a second. And then that time finality there, even processing that many transaction is 1.12 seconds. So very, very quick for any of the, the tech heads out there that want to see it. But let's get in and use it, right? Because that's that's where you're going to get really excited. Because um, like I haven't actually seen a network operate as fast as this. Um, or, or I just haven't used a network that, that processes a transaction this quickly. So... Look, it's, it, it's an interesting test to do. You can come on here and do that yourself. You will need to use MetaMask as it's not supported by other wallets at the moment like Rabi. But come on here, connect yourself up, connect your wallet up. You can then request these tokens. So once you're connected here, you'll sign a little TX and you can get yourself some tokens to test with. Um, it'll give you some Phantom for gas and then it will give you some opportunity to, to get some of the, the other sort of gems, the coral, the diamond, that sort of stuff. So I think they're going with that Sonic theme again, which is pretty cool. I've seen some people commenting on that. But let's do a transaction. Let's go straight for it. Um, at the moment, we'll, we'll just we'll sell one coral for however many quarts we're going to get there. So let's just hit swap. Now, the, the slowest thing that you're going to see here is MetaMask opening, right? MetaMask... Is, uh, is working away in the background to, to open, but that's general. That's what we expect uh, most of the time when operating. So we hit confirm, and you're not going to see it, but that transaction would have just gone through there, bang. It's just happened that quickly, and it's not happening because I am there in front of it. Let me move myself over here for a second. Let's do another one, all right? Um, we'll go back. We'll, we'll, we'll swap it back from the course to the coral. We'll hit swap. It's waiting. Waiting for it to open the MetaMask, won't be a second. As soon as MetaMask opens, you're gonna see how quickly we're gonna do this TX. So, and this is all in real time, we're not speeding it up, nothing like that. So we confirm it, and bang, swap done. Now, uh, anyone that's been using the chain for a little while would 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 pretty um, be pretty accustomed to seeing that, that is, that's, that's multiples faster than any other chain that we've seen out there interacting. So that's happening there on the public testnet 
All I'm doing is going in and, and giving it a test myself. You can add the add the network to MetaMask here. So before you, sorry, I should have said that, and, and, and I would have suggested they put this above, but they didn't. But but add to MetaMask, come down here and add it, and that will add all of the RPC in for you. And then from there, you can then request the, the tokens that you want, okay? So you will need to just get the network set up. So just add to MetaMask, that'll help you add the, the network, and away you go. Um, let's have a look at what's happening here on the on the sorry on the the scanner here so we can have a look at how it's actually interacting we're getting 0.62 uh, seconds to finality there so we're absolutely flying and look i don't know if this will be the scanner moving forward or this is just set up for testnet because it's got some pretty cool stats down here as well um, but you can see that it's it's running smoothly as well you know like what you want to see um you know any developer will, will appreciate this is that you want to see this consistent you don't want to see big spikes and all sorts of stuff like that. You know, the the, the time finale is very very close along along this here. So it's not like you know we're not getting huge spikes where um, we're using X amount of gas and stuff. So so it's working very very well there. We're getting you know forty transactions a second, things like that popping into these. We can then go in and have a look, see what these transactions were. You know, at the end of the day, it's good. We can see the gas that was used to do it. Uh, one thing I didn't really do, and let's go back and do one more swap because like, I could swap all day on this thing. It's 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 loads of fun and it, it's not costing us any money. <laughs> so we're doing it all on testnet, but um, let's pop back here and do a swap quickly. And I want to see what the gas is. So we know how many TXs are going through per second on the public chain at the moment. And we're using point uh zero 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 one seven five seven of a phantom like and at the current cost of phantom at like 22 cents or, or 23 cents or whatever we're sitting at at the moment like that's next to nothing like we're like i can't even do the math in my head it's that low we're talking sub 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 cent there so let's just do another tx let's see how quickly that transacts bang swap there you go tokens are transferred in your wallet so i look forward to seeing you know as new as that sort of deploy on the test net here to test things out and see how we go over the next little period. But this is a really good tester for you to get in there and, and all the tech heads and that that like to play with it. But but one thing that, that I love uh, about how quick this is to transact is that when you're doing a lot of transactions, sometimes it can seem like it takes a little bit longer for these networks to transact and you go, come on, come on. Whereas now you're seeing how quick you could do those little interactions that you need to do and effectively it helps you get through your actions like people are doing you know 10 20 30 50 100 actions a day um so it really makes a big difference and then this is what's going to help us on board the next um sort of level of people into the space you know this is where we can start to bring in some of the people that aren't you know necessarily like DeFi and stuff like that and the gamers and all that and get them interacting on a smooth fast network